Hey there, how are you doing team? Nokia Power User here and we welcome you all to this interesting video. In this video, we will demo the new features that Android 13 brings for Nokia XR20. We will also share our hands-on impressions of Android 30 or Nokia XR20. So in a good news for all Nokia fans, Nokia Mobile has started early and it has already released Android 13 to 4 Nokia smartphones. Nokia XR20 is one of them. And Nokia G11 5G may be the next one that may receive Android 13 based on the enterprise recommended devices list. We had uh, recently shared that list that uh, had five devices or five Nokia smartphones tested and confirmed with Android 13. Okay, now coming to what all Android 13 brings for Nokia XR20. We will first talk about the visual bits, which can be, you know, which are like those experiences or changes which which uh, are visible to your eyes so first thing that you will notice here are these icons so these icons are called themed icons that is one of the feature visual feature that android 13 brings so you know i mean if uh, either uh, these are you know system icons or native or default google apps icons or they may have this kind of support so a developer needs to provide support for themed icons so then only you see them otherwise you know these item these icons that you see on another home screen they do not have themed icons but here all these icons uh, fortunately have themed icons so how to enable that so it's easy just long press on the home screen go to wallpaper and style here you will notice that you can change wallpaper and there you have option to enable or disable themed icons so if i disable themed icons you will see the old you know uh, old icons or uh, what i can say original icons of the apps but if you uh, love themed icons you can just enable it here and you can see another app grid feature here which allows you to you know arrange the app icons on uh, on your home screen if you want five into five so like five icons five rows five columns so same four into five so here you have four uh, columns and five rows so that is how it all can be possible and accordingly the uh, app icon size also increases or decreases now uh, there is another thing that you can do you can actually go and based on the wallpaper you choose you will see that you can actually choose various colors for the themed icon so I can choose this color and when you choose that you will see this I, I mean kind of check mark here you go back and you will see that color has changed and not only the color of the icons changes the you know this uh, color change also impacts the theme so overall theme of the device so you can see that notice here now once you are here so you will also notice that there are few changes right so one of the changes you will notice that this settings it has moved to the bottom and you see another one one app is active so if any app is active at a certain given point in time it will be shown so you can quickly see which app is active you can even stop that if you wish to so this is also new again another thing you may have already noticed is that in there you know see this internet so air i mean internet and wi-fi both have been merged in one quick action button okay so this is how it is it has been changed if you are a nokia smartphone user and especially on nokia xr 25 i have noticed another one and which is one-handed mode so the one-handed mode is, is a neat feature and uh, for me it, it came with android 13 so i'll say that it's a new feature so i will go to that and i will just show how to uh, you can how you can actually use one-handed mode but these are the visual changes that you can clearly see or notice when you start using android 13 the themed icons changes in how you see this uh, whole uh, you know quick action buttons and how the setting has moved to the bottom then uh, notification that show that app is active etc etc so these are majorly the bits that are related to the uh, visual changes if you talk about apart from that google has highlighted in its official uh, you know change log uh, you know things which are not exactly you know related to visual appearance so coming to usability changes so what all has changed so for one uh, you know if you now install a new app 
so not with the old apps if you uh, kind of update from android 12 then not for the old apps but if you install a new app then it needs to ask for your permission to show notifications so that is a good thing you know your uh, phone may be getting inundated with lots of notification that you really do not want so there android 13 actually helps in cutting the clutter so if you install a new app it will ask for your permission before showing the notification so that is one usability change that i i am really uh, interested in another one that i would like to uh, show but that is also a visual change but i wanted it to show in under the usability part so if you see okay let us go and let us play some music So you can notice that in the, uh, I mean, when you uh, go here, then you will notice that now the album art is displayed prominently when you are playing music on your device. So not only the album art is played, I mean, shown very, uh, you know, kind of uh, in, a, in a good way or look, it looks very attractive actually. But also when you see this, uh, you know, there is like when this uh, kind of timer is moving, it, it also dances. So it's kind of a <laughs> nice feeling. So there are two changes, one changes in terms of how this album art is now displayed prominently when you are listening to music and another very nice and neat way of showing that uh, your, uh, you know, the song is moving, the timer is moving and it's dancing too. Another change here also, which is related to usability is that now it is easy to choose music. So I can choose from phone, I can spare another device, etc. So it's kind of a visual change as well as a you know usability related change so that's why I, I kind of showed it here and as i sh showed earlier you know now it's showing that two apps are active right so you can stop either of them so that is again a neat feature if you do not know that uh, you know kind of uh, whether any apps is active if any any app is active and it's you know kind of eating battery so your device will tell you so in a way it's better to control the battery life so another thing that uh, Google has kind of highlighted prominently is if you go to the bedtime mode, so let us go to settings. It's in well-being basically, but I'll directly go there, bedtime. So bedtime mode is off, but if I turn on it now, so there are few things, few new features here. So features like keep the screen dark, dim the wallpaper, dark theme. So these are new options available, which if you are using, I mean, if you are a well-being or bedtime uh, option or feature user, then these uh, things are like, these features are new and they can be really helpful for you. And as I said, it, it is something which uh, Google uh, has taken pride in announcing. So it may be obviously one of the, you know, top feature requests from them. So basically, uh, apart from this, there is another, if we go to the lock screen, we can also notice few new additions there in terms of changes and new features. Okay, let me go to the display directly. So this is double line clock. So this is a new feature which which actually controls how the you know on the lock screen itself how will the clock appear. So now there is no need of you know appearance of a big clock here. It it can be like this you know smaller clock also. So this is something which is now controllable through settings. Okay. So in terms of other security features, so as I said, uh, I mean always every Android, new Android iteration brings uh, new security features, privacy features. So that is where Google has also explained in a, uh, in a uh, explained in a you know detailed manner uh, that it has worked hard in background to improve the privacy, the security of the OS version. But you know, I mean, going into those details is not very 
uh, irrelevant because I would not be able to show you visually. But yes, there has been like, I mean, according to Google, lots of things that they have done in background. But these are the major visual uh, touches, major usability changes that Google has en enabled on Android 13. If you think anything is missing, you can actually post that in comments and we can cover in next video. But for now, this is what we wanted to cover for you. And now coming to uh, the impressions of the OS. So if you ask us, we think that the OS is uh, quite good uh, in terms of usability. What actually, uh, you may have already uh, realized that it's quite smooth. We are not facing any such issue in terms of uh, lags or anything else or any crashes, etc. So no screen freezes, lags, crashes with this OS. It's quite polished uh, build, at least what it has come to XR20. And apart from that, when it comes to battery life, battery life is nearly the same that I have been getting with Android 12. So nothing more, no, uh, you know, deterioration or uh, anything, you know, I mean, if I can say I have felt like there may be like I may be getting one hour extra. And, you know, uh, because, you know, one thing I have to tell you that these two apps, I mean, the active apps notification, this really helps. So this actually, this may have helped in getting a bit of, bit of more juice out of uh, the battery. So that is where, uh, you know, Android 13 or Nokia XR20 has been working fine for me. The experience is good. It is smooth. And as I said, battery life is not, uh, is not, has not gone down. It is rather improved a bit, a tiny bit, which you may not even feel. That's where I'm not very stressing it, stressing upon it. But yes, so that's it. So with that, we come to end of this video where we shared uh, major visual changes, major usability enhancement with Android 13 and also shared our impressions with the build. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Stay tuned to NokiaPowerUser.com and NokiaPowerUser YouTube channel for more.